Hello and welcome to the latest Apex RMS release update for version 2.6.0.0. We are going to look at the changes and updates that are being constantly developed by the software team at Apex and will be coming to your system soon to improve your customer experience. There is now the function for work providers to give a reason when they cancel a job and this will appear on the cancel job if they provide a reason. On the rescue and recovery section, the main difference that you will find is that there has been a redesign for recovery, redelivery, parking, and workshop job layouts. This is to allow for postcode lookups and will be covered in the updated tutorial videos that can be accessed from the Apex Networks website. All of the detail that you had before is still there, it may just be in a different place on the job. To use the postcode finder, enter the postcode into the field and click on the magnifying glass. This will retrieve the address or a selection of addresses in the postcode area for you to pick from. In the diary screen, there is a change to notify you that a driver-related message is restricted to 50 characters only. A new development is to include analysis codes that are forced on each job on Cleardown. These can then be reported on in the data dump section. To set these up, you will need to add them in the sales account in the recovery tab section. Just like many other parts of RMS, these codes are customizable for your business. There is now a delete function in the preset PDA messages setup. The staff rotor now has the option to be printed in XLS format, as well as PDF if required. This is done via a drop down menu when selecting print. When a DVLA lookup is selected on a job, the system will add this to the job history. There is now a facility on the mapping screen to save and store your preferences with the filters. Any selections made and saved here will be specific to your individual login. In the reporting section, the recovery by driver report, the site short name, has been added. Another addition is booked by, and this field has been added to the scheduled reports. There has been a field applied to the workshop data dump reporting for parts purchase price. In the sales accounts, there is now the ability to add a threshold. Also here, you can implement the video vehicle condition report option for your customers, not just the clubs that have requested it. This needs to be enabled per sales account. There is now the facility for each sales account to add parts markup for parts that are sold on a recovery job. In the PDA setup configurations, you can now set the daily checks to be specified as disabled, enabled, or forced. The purchase order system now has an auditable process to return items to a supplier with a section per order line to add a returns note number. In the fleet management module, you can now filter the scheduled maintenance screen by vehicle status. There is also a flag to show that the vehicle is DVS compliant, direct vision standard. The fleet planner has had dates added to the week numbers for clarity and will give the week commencing date. In the fleet maintenance dropdown, we have added five years to the periodicity periods. Also, there is the ability to report on inventory checks. This will work the same as when you do a daily vehicle check report. There is now the ability on the vehicle details to filter by defect status. In the HR module, there is a facility on auto email function to report on training packs that are due to or have expired. On the employee screen, the audit button has been changed to make it more obvious. The employee portal settings have been changed so that you can now specify which employees can see which documents and also which documents you require an employee to read.